Hey, welcome back, it's Chris. Today we're test riding my friend Grady's 2023 Kawasaki Mule Pro MX EPS. Here we're gonna share with you the top things we love about the Kawasaki Mule and the three things that we think should be improved. Let's take a look, let's get started. All right, so starting from the front on the Kawasaki Mule, again, comes the full steel front bumper. It has 10.6 inches of ground clearance, and it's a traditional mule where you have the dual uh, A-arms, uh, upper and lower. Okay, as you pop up, um, you can see this is what's really unique about the mule is this headlight setup. So the first on the outside, it has halogen headlights, and the inside, it has the LED lights. And inside the instrument cluster, there is settings for both. You can have both on for bright. You can have both on or just have the LEDs or just have the halogens. As you come up, uh, Grady chose the camo edition, which I really love. Um, when you take off the top hood, you can see there's storage up here. Uh, plenty of storage. Put some gear and put a toe strap if you want to. Um, but you, you can see it's perfect. Great visibility based on the size of it. So it's 60 inches wide and 110 inches long. Okay, starting from the left front, this comes with the uh, Duro 25 by 8 by 12. Um, this is on steel wheels, not aluminum. Grady chose the Mule Pro FX package. The standard comes with the actual, for 2023, comes with the steel wheels. All the aluminum wheels are optional. Coming up with the roll cage, it came with the roof, plastic roof. Did not come with a rear view mirror or side mirrors. He wants to upgrade to those, of course. Going right along, what I love about the mules, they have this back cage. The cage is super strong, welded part of the roof. You can see here, when you have a lot of gear in the back, um, you can see how it gives the ability to not, you know, gear not to slide up into the passenger compartment. Okay, hitting the fuel tank, again, very accessible on the left side, just right under the driver's door. Holds 9.5 gallons of fuel, plenty of fuel based on the fuel economy of what the mule is getting. Um, what I love about it is these nice doors. Doors open full 90 degrees. You can see easy for a dog to get up inside or if you're older um, or have any, any limited capabilities, you can actually slide right in so it's not too high to get up on. Very easy to do this. Moving right along, um, the rear tires are wider. So these are 25 by 10 by 12s on steel wheels. Again, these are all steel wheels on this particular Pro MX package. Coming up to the cargo bed, the bed holds 700 pounds. You can see uh, Kawasaki did a fantastic job with the rails. All these rails are bolted really strong. Uh, three ways you can actually bolt ratchet straps or any kind of cargo there. Gives you plenty, plenty of room to do that. Super strong. Uh, again, 700 pounds for the bed. The tailgate is not a pickup style tailgate. You can see here, unlatch both sides. Not too hard, but you have to unlatch, make sure those safety catches are off. It drops down. Um, Grady already added a bed mat here. Um, below, it's diamond plate, super durable, super strong um, for, for cargo and gear. Again, holds 700 pounds. He put this soft mat on here. Obviously, the dogs can lay in here uh, as well. You can see it has two cup holders. Um, it has little slots here to slide gear through, uh, through the back. Popping this back up, you have to latch both latches. And again, look at the bed. So measuring the bed, you know, tape measure-wise, you want to put anything in here. It's basically almost three feet deep by sorry Jax almost three feet eight inches on the width so about three by three the rear is set up with a uh, two inch trailer hitch uh, two inch capability for the trailer hitch Grady already put his large extension in here with his trailer ball raised up um, it's a great e easy way to hook the trailer up he's bought it for putting his boat in and out of the water um, so it's been a great great piece of it Kawasaki put a nice shield here, so if you're hooking your trailer up, it won't dent the muffler. I think it's a nice touch having that. Again, the setup on the rear is uh, dual A-arms again in the back. It's a 10.6 inches of ground clearance. The rear brake setup is all disc around all four sides. The rear actually has single piston calipers, and the front has dual piston calipers. On the back, LED tail lights. Grady added the triangle in the back for safety. He's going through the woods, want to make sure no one hits him from behind. All right, again, for the tailgate setup, um, super durable, but it's really inconvenient. You can see the latch just like on the back of the tailgate. You have to go to the left side. It won't lift up until you actually go over to the right side and loosen the latch just like the tailgate. This pops open 
and then you can lift up to flip the bed out. All right, so let's take it the inside. So again, the doors open 90 degrees. Hey, Willie, can you move over a little bit? Okay, so getting in is so easy with the mules, right? One step up, nice long bench seat, plenty of room for me and two dogs. Sitting here, you can see I have the ability to right immediately adjust the tilt steering all the way up and all the way down. The shift lever is easy to reach from your right hand, low, high, neutral, and reverse. Once you go down, uh, Kawasaki still this old parking brake. I'm not a fan of this at all. I like the old, the other style parking brake. You pull up like a, like a car or truck. Um, you can see there's an access right here for a 12 volt charger. Again, when you turn on the keys, you can see has the locking front differential, two and four wheel drive, and it gives you the ability to turn on, remember the LED or the halogen headlights, either one. So you can see you can turn high or bright if you want to run the halogens or the LEDs. There are accessories for four different, so if you want to put a light bar, a winch, you can put any up to four accessories, these uh, slots right here. Moving over to the instrument cluster. Again, this instrument cluster to me is too small. Um, you know, Kawasaki probably needs to upgrade this and bring it a little bit bigger in today's times, but it's, it's super efficient, right? So you can see here, has the ability to measure miles per hour, RPMs, hours, mileage, the time, two and four wheel drive. The seat belt is required to have on before you go any further. It doesn't limit the speed. There is a check engine light. There's the EPS light. There's also the ability to see fuel um, full to empty. And then you can see in the shift lever. So if you're in neutral, high or reverse, it shifts up and adjusts based on if you're in which one of those settings. Storage wise, again, I'm always using my Stanley cup as a, as a barometer. You can see here, my Stanley cup fits perfectly in the two cup holders. There are only two cup holders in the mule. In order to get to the right side, you have to take this piece out. So you can fit different cups. You wanna put a coffee cup over here, you can do that as well. Storage wise, again, you can see your spot right here. We have the spot on the right side. There's a locking glove box, which is awesome. If you're going the trails, you can see the ability to open your glove box. You can fit a lot of gear. It's pretty deep, but it's locking, which is a great advantage. Another cubby hole here. It's a diamond plated floor, just like the tailgate. There's a slight hump here, but again, it's perfect size for two people. Again, you can put up to three if you have a dog. So there's room for a dog to ride in the middle. There's only two seat belts um, for the passengers. All right, coming inside, you can see over here, um, you have a, a place to keep your foot when you're riding. There's no heat as you're driving this the side by side. You don't feel any heat in the passenger compartment whatsoever. A little cubby here, a couple little cubbies that are available right here for you to put your gear, any more stuff in. Again, getting out, doors open wide. Um, oh, pick the seat up. There's a, a lever right here to open the seat. Pops right up. You can see this is where the battery is stored. Again, Kawasaki did a great job. There's storage, they're not waterproof, but there's plenty of storage compartments to put tow ropes, any ropes, accessories, any fishing gear, all the way. Um, there's like three different compartments here besides the battery, you can do this. Also easy to check the oil. This pops down. Everything is very high quality, you know, very durable. This thing is used for the ranch. All right, coming over to the passenger side again, the, the doors open full 90 degrees. You can see Willie get in and out. Willie, come on, go back up. Willie, come on up, up, come on up, up. See, easy for a dog to get in and get back into his seat. Again, another grab bar on this side. What I love about the mule is getting, stand, stepping up the ground clearance. Plenty, plenty of, uh, not too high, for uncomfortable to pop up. You can just grab the grab bar. There's two, there's one right here, one here. Lift yourself up. This is a really good one for anybody with type of any type of physical limitations. Seated very comfortably. It is upright, right? It's a utility workhorse side by side. It's not a sport side by side. So you can feel the difference of sitting upright. But the way Kawasaki made it with suspension, it's very smooth, very easy to ride. Um, the power steering by far is is one of the best uh, power steering systems I've seen on a side by side recently. All right, take a look at the engine. Again, you have a storage compartment right here uh, that you, we showed in the passenger side. Again, 695 cc single overhead cam fuel injected engine. The transmission is a CVT style transmission with the locking differential. All right, take a look on this side. You can see the oil filter is really easy to get to, plenty of space to reach your hand down there and turn it. But again, 695cc single overhead cam fuel injected engine. 
This is this thing is a workhorse. Okay, the overall size of the Kawasaki Mule, 60 inches wide by 110 inches long and 74 inches high. So it will fit in a six by 10, six or six by 12 utility trailer, no problem at all. All right, so the top three things I love about the Kawasaki Mule. Number one, the three year Kawasaki warranty. That's by far one of the best side-by-side -side warranty out there. Number two, the smooth EPS. The electronic power steering in this thing is, you can almost turn it with a pinky, it's so smooth. The third, I love the size of it, right? 60 by 110, the ability to get in a trailer quickly, get through all the trails. We wind it around for about an hour, all the really tough trails, no problem at all. Uh, very maneuverable for anybody, of any kind of uh, skill set. All right, so the top three things I think Kawasaki can improve on, number one, is the latches. Again, they're durable, they're, they're easy to use, but I'm used to getting in the back and pulling a pickup tailgate handle. Um, wish they'd switch that, and, or in the left or right side, be able to open the and dump the bed with one uh, latch right here. Number two, I don't like the small cluster. I think this cluster should be updated a little bit bigger. Uh, at times, my, I'm a little bit older, so hard to read the cluster. It's a little bit, um, I wish they would get a little bit bigger cluster to be able to see. Number three is the parking brake. Um, I'm not a fan of the mechanical parking brake here. Turn it, twist it. I'm just not a fan of that. I wish we could just put an easy parking brake lever right next to the shift control. All right, so the MSRP for the Kawasaki Mule Pro F could start around $14,000 and up, depending if you want to get the camo edition, the roof, the windshield, the winch. Um, but that's a good starting MSRP. This is amazing value for what you get um, with the locking differential, the power steering, you know, all the utility of what this machine can do. All right, so the reason I love to do the test ride review videos is I wanna make sure people make an informed buying decision. Most consumers can't test ride these like we can through for hours in the trails. So I wanna bring back what we see and what we're hearing from real consumers and what we feel in the trails ourselves. Again, our friend Grady bought it because a lot of his friends have Kawasaki mules. He saw the commercial, he heard about the three year warranty that impacted his decision, he knew about it's being reliable and easy to use for his, um, for his uses. Remember, he has a three to five acre property. His goal for the side by side is to put the boat in out of the water, do light work around the farm, and then take his take it over to his buddy's house to hang out on the weekends. If you're enjoying our test ride reviews, like and subscribe our channel. We'll keep bringing more content like this to help you make an informed buying decision.